with the others Ooh, ooh I would lose Those are when you really love me But those things were really fun Hey guys, so I'm starting off with applying some sunscreen i love the sunscreen it smells good and it's so amazing i use it all the time i make sure to always put sunscreen because i like to protect my skin from outside and from you know you want to keep your skin looking nice and youthful i also apply it in my hands and i just love to have sunscreen here i'm going with my this little lifting eye cream that i'm putting underneath my eyes i already did my skincare but i like to prep even more that's just me <laughs> um i love skincare so i'm just applying it gently under the eyes remember this area is very very delicate so you want to go very gently with those and use your ring finger because it's your lightest finger of all your fingers and i just apply rub it in so it's all dry so here i go in with my elf minimizing pore primer i love this stuff it literally minimizes my pore and it just like, I don't know, it prepares my skin for like a nice canvas to apply foundation or any skin thing that I want to apply. Here I'm going with my Pro LA Girl um, Concealer. Lately I haven't been using a lot of concealer, but I decided today that I would do some. So I put some on my eye, on my lids, just to kind of prep my lids for my Morphe eyeshadow palette that I'm about to use. Eyeshadow palette that I'm going to use that's new. So I'm just here just applying a little bit. I know I used to use my Milk. My NYX Milk Jumbo pen Pencil in White. But I decided to do a little bit of concealer instead. Just because I want a little light of color, a little wash. I don't want it to be too much. Here I'm going with this palette, which I love. I'm already hitting pan, guys. And I'm using these two shades, the lightest one. Just to kind of set that concealer in place so it doesn't move. So my, um, my shadows go on nice and smooth. Oops. <laughs> so here I'm using the Hot for you 911 morphe palette i really like this palette it's so beautiful the colors are amazing they have the colors on the back i just think it's so beautiful all the shades i don't know if it's taking it in camera but um i'm going in with the just peachy first um and starting in the outer corner and just building it up it was a little bit cake a lot of cake back but it's still a nice smooth um shade and it's really pretty it's i'm pretty sure it's pigmented the more you blend and the more you pack onto the lid and i always like to do this i always like to do my eyes first before i do my whole entire face i just because you never know the type of palette that you're using if it's gonna have fallout or cake back you don't know so it's always safer to kind of do your eyes first and then you can like wipe away anything else with a wipe um that you have and then you can start on your face then to actually have foundation and then go with your eyes and then it's like messed up so i like to always start with my eyes and brows and as you can see i did do my brows off camera guys because my brows take me forever i was trying to put it in this video but i was like it took half of my videos i know i need to take it out <laughs> so i decided to do it off camera we all know the process of eyebrows and all that here i'm gonna go also with the color let me see because I don't know. This is a new palette and the shades, the cut, the names that have it in the back. And then I'm in with um, Sizzling, which is like another pink. So I'm adding these pinky tones. Like I wish they had more like orangey tones. They have two oranges here, which I will do in another video. I want to do another like a fall look using those two shades. But I really like that. I'm just packing, also packing that on the lid, which is um, the Sizzling shade. I'm packing that on the lid. is like a more darker kind of pinky peachy color. So I'm just going to put that on the lid. And here I'm just going on, guys. I don't even know what look I was going for. I just was playing with the palette. Because it's amazing to play with different palettes and come up with different looks. Because that's the whole point of makeup. You know, having fun, creating things that you want. Um, then I'm going to go in with that pink right there. And that pink is Keep It Casual. I really love these names. They're so cute. I wish the names were also on the bottom of the shade. So I don't have to like look on the back to kind of know what the shade is. But I'm, I'm glad it has names on it. Um, the shirt palette is really, really nice. I really like it. It has, like, very compatible, you know. You can put it in your purse if you want to travel with it. It's really nice. I like Morphe um, palettes. I think they're amazing. Morphe is, has good quality. Um, so, yeah, I know there's other palettes. I got this palette at TJ Maxx, which I find all my makeup at TJ Maxx, whether it's name brand or name brand. Everything's at TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx has amazing products amazing amazing so i will leave everything linked down below all the prices down below for you guys and here i'm just going in the outer corner to kind of build that shade up with a little tiny brush and just really going into the outer corner of that and um it looks nice I, it was looking nice and then at first i was like oh god i don't know what i'm doing but um yeah now i'm just getting a fluffier brush and just really blending it blending it out because the whole point of 
shadows and being nice and seamless is to blend them out you always have to blend it out i know it takes a long time to blend guys but it's so worth it at the end i promise when you have the final look you're gonna be like wow i'm glad that i blended it all out so i really like the shade it's really really pretty um this palette is very nice i like the shades it has mattes and shimmers as well i really like this palette it's really nice it has like three shimmers and the rest are all matte colors which i really like I like using that shimmer. So the shimmer that I use is the, it's called Feel Good because it's like shimmer and pink. So I just use my finger. You can also wet a brush and apply it as well. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm using this um, Morphe Madison Beer Lockdown Luminous Setting Spray, which is so amazing. It has a lot of glitter. I didn't realize that, but it's so amazing. The spray is so nice and it's just like gives this glow to your skin, which I really like. So I used that and applied it on the lid and it made it really nice and more stand out. But of course, you can use your finger. Your finger is your best friend as well when it comes to makeup and applying things. So I really like this so far. It's really nice. It just, yeah, it's so pretty. It just brings a, because lately, guys, I don't wear a lot of makeup anymore. Um, I try to keep it minimal instead of like a whole pounds of foundation and contour and bronzing. I try to keep it nice and just, you know, nice and simple with just the cheeks. I've been loving just putting a lot of blush. So that's what I've been loving now. So now I'm going to go in with that um, shimmer that is in Sweet sweet Nothings. And I'm going to add that into the um, inner tear duct of the eye, which is going to give it a little pop, which I really like as well. So I just like to play with makeup and just creating different things. And then now I'm using this... Um, Madison Beer Lockdown Luminous Setting Spray from Morphe. Like I said, it has shimmer and gold and it's so pretty. Then I'm also going here with my two favorite foundations from Fizzin Formula and Flawless. I just love these two foundations together. It just gives you that amazing skin look. Like if it's it's your skin, but better. I just love applying these two together. And I've noticed that I put only a small layer of foundation goes a long way i don't have to pack and pack foundation and foundation sometimes i look at youtubers and i'm like oh my god how do they put so many pounds of foundation in their face still looks flawless i don't know i'm like i try to do that but i just can't I, I feel like my skin looks cakey when i put so much foundation so i try to keep it simple and just put one layer and then i go in with a brush my real techniques which i love and then i'll go in with my elf sponge which is amazing as well it makes it nice and flawless and so smooth and already my skin looks amazing it looks like my skin just better that's why i feel like it's so important to take care of your face here i'm going in with the same concealer that i uh, prep my lids with to go under my eyes and that's another thing guys i haven't been using concealer as well like when i go to work and do my quick makeup i don't even apply concealer so it's just some things that i've been like not really going for when i'm doing my makeup and my makeup still looks amazing looks great so yeah, here I'm blending it with this little e.l.f. Um, concealer sponge, which I really love. It's the first time using it, and I really like it. It's like so perfect for those edges around the eyes, and it's really small for that area. So I really, really like it a lot. I also found this one at TJ Maxx as well. I'm telling you guys, TJ Maxx is my favorite store to buy makeup, anything, anything. Here I'm going back to here, to the palette here, and I'm grabbing all that to set my makeup up, setting all my skin. This, from, this palette I really love. I, I got it once for Christmas um and i use it i'm hitting pan and i need to see if i can find it again on tj maxx but you know tj maxx you find something you won't be able to find it again but the powders are so smooth like it makes my skin so flawless and buttery and i really really like that i don't like powders that make my skin look powdery or just caked on or like a ghost this really just makes my skin look very smooth and very nice and I just love it so much. And just applying it everywhere, guys, is such an important thing to set your makeup because you do not want it to move anywhere. You don't want it to sweat off and cake off and none of that stuff. And me, especially under my eyes, I have to have to make sure it's set. Now I'm taking that. It's like a blush, but kind of highlight blush. And I'm using that and putting applying that on my cheeks and my highest points. This is basically what I'm doing. I'm not even putting com contour or, or um, a bronzer. I might do a little bit in the end. But I just, I just been loving. Look at me. I'm about to start hablando español for you guys. Start talking Spanish for you guys. I'm um, just, I just been loving the that rosy cheek kind of look, like you know, sun kiss, like the sun just naturally hit me in my face. I just been really, really loving that a lot. The blush and all that stuff. I just love it. I think it's amazing, and it just brings your skin to look more glowy and youthful and young. And it's just, I don't know. I just really, really like when my skin looks youthful and young. You know. I'm, about to be 37 so i just really really want to keep my skin looking young and you know 
the skin that I have now. So it's really good to preserve it, take care of it, use and make sure never to go to sleep with your makeup, which thing I have never, never went to sleep with makeup on. <laughs> so, um, yeah, here I'm putting a little bit of that, um, of that shimmer, um, sweet nothings on my brow. And also now I'm doing everything under the lid. And you guys are going to realize that my video literally deleted the other parts of me finishing. So at the end, you will just see the picture of the final look. And I just hope that you guys enjoy. I did, didn't put no lashes. I just put mascara, my favorite mascara, and my lip color. And you will see at the end of the video, you'll see the pictures. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really love the, the way the look came out. I just, um... I think it's just so pretty. I'm just so annoyed that it didn't film it. So I hope you guys enjoy. I just love the way it came out. And it's just so beautiful. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on all my socials. And like I always say, God bless.